Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain how lithium bromide vapor absorption system works. In lithium bromide vapor absorption system, water is used as the refrigerant and lithium bromide is used as the absorbent. In this picture, I am represented water using black lines and lithium bromide, using, lithium bromide solution using red lines. So, the entire system consists of two chambers, that is a high pressure chamber and a low pressure chamber and this is a cross section of this uh, cylindrical chamber okay so this chamber are themselves divide, subdivided using a wall a partial wall this is a part these are the partial wall and the left portion of the low pressure chamber is known as absorber and the right portion is known as evaporator as well as the in the high pressure chamber left portion is known as generator and the right portion is known as condenser okay in this uh, chamber we are kept low pressure because uh, we need to boil the water or we need to evaporate the water at low temperature we all know that when the pressure dec decreases the boiling point of the water will also get reduced so the entire aim of this the lithium bromide vapor absorption system is to reduce the temperature of the water flowing through this pipe okay we need to get chilled water uh, which is flowing through this pipe so we can see how the water is uh, chilled uh, in this pipe okay so in the evaporator we we are filled with water it is filled with water and using a pump the water is pumped and sprinkled into the evaporator since the pressure of this chamber is less the water will get evaporated and move towards the absorber in the absorber we are filled with uh, it is filled with lithium bromide okay the lithium bromide will absorb water from the atmosphere and it will get mixed and such kind of mixture of lithium bromide and water is known as weak mixture because the uh, water content in the lithium bromide is high so that it's not strong lithium bromide it is weak lithium bromide and the weak lithium bromide is uh, fed into the heat exchanger using a pump okay the weak lithium bromide will flow through the heat exchanger and it will absorb heat from the heat exchanger and it will move towards generator in the generator we are using a coil to increase the temperature of this solution so the weak lithium bromide is sprinkled and the generator uh, in generator increases the temperature of this uh, lithium bromide and so that the uh, boiling point of the water is less compared to that of lithium bromide water will get evaporated and only water will get evaporated and move towards the condenser okay so the rest of the liquid will be only lithium bromide all the water will get evaporated and the and rest of the solution uh, will only contain the lithium bromide and very less amount of water very very less so we can neglect that amount and the strong lithium it will become the strong strong lithium bromide and the strong lithium bromide will flow through this heat exchanger and from from this strong heat lithium bromide solution heat is absorbed by the weak lithium bromide as i said earlier and it will again pass through this pipe and it will get sprinkled in the absorber and we, we, it will get filled in the absorber okay this is the uh, flow of lithium bromide and uh, we are using a water uh, from a pond and using a pump we are pumping it uh, pumping it to the absorber uh, so that the temperature can be reduced and it will get uh, contents that is the lithium bromide will get contents and again it is passed through the condenser of this high pressure chamber the function of this uh, pipe function of cooling water is to reduce the temperature of the water vapor from this uh, generator so that it will get condensed and use and the water from the condenser is passed through this pipe and we are using a pressure reduced valve to reduce the pressure from high pressure to low pressure so that the temperature of the water will get reduced so that uh, we get cooled water and this cooled water is passed through the evaporator uh, so that the entire space of the evaporator will get very low temperature since the pressure inside the evaporator is very less as well as the temperature of the inside the evaporator is very less it will absorb heat from this pipe okay when we are uh, giving high temperature water through this pipe 
the atmo the evaporator atmosphere which contain very low temperature will get will uh, absorb heat from the water inside this pipe so that the temperature of this water flowing through this pipe will get reduced and we will get a chilled water so that is the working principle of lithium bromide vapor absorption system and thank you for watching this video like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you